So I've been using Roblox for four years now, and I think I'm done with it. I've done everything I wanted to do on Roblox. It was fun, but on Roblox your audience is mostly kids, and there's nothing you can do about it. That's just how it is. And you're also limited by the engine they give you. It was a good introduction to game design and development, I think, in general. I want to see what Unity has to offer. I have been working on a few small projects, but I'm not going to reveal exactly what they all are yet. They're mostly just to help me learn Unity. The first one that I started and the one I've been working on the most is a Minecraft clone because making clones is a good way to learn how to code in different game engines and different coding languages, I, I, I guess. I do have some knowledge over Java and I already have played around with C Sharp enough to get a grasp for it, but there's still plenty to learn. Anyway, I'll show you what I got so far, this Minecraft clone, I don't really know exactly where I'm going to take it. I do have some ideas on the side. I don't want it to be a Minecraft clone necessarily. I just kind of started it with that in mind. But for now, it's kind of just a Minecraft clone. <coughs> now, if you're wondering about the state of my Roblox account or anything I was working on on Roblox, if I was on the team, I just left the team. I, I still have possession of whatever I was doing. I'm just there for holding at this point. Apparently, Bereza joined Massacre Miners recently he may not have joined it to play it but he played it so i'll take that the state of massacre miners is probably going to stay the same i'm not updating it anymore i was happy with the work i did on it i felt like the other two developers on the team can handle it but we'll see how they do so you're probably looking at this and wondering what there's nothing here just a bunch of stuff that's because this is a minecraft clone <laughs> i don't want to call it that it's this is Voxel uh, Journeyman Adventure. I'm going as I'm going, as I'm going, as I'm going, as I'm going. Uh. God dang, why do I keep burping? Anyway, a little chunk loader. So it's, it's got some world generation going on. It generates new chunks if there isn't a chunk there. I had to follow a jumping tutorial to figure out how the heck to make something jump. So there is this bug. Here's the edge of the world. You could dig straight down if you want, but... Uh-oh. So the world generation is basically just a noise map. Multiplied on top of another noise map. So it's just kind of a little bit jagged. Just some pearly noise with some smacky stuff. So if I build a break stuff... Say I could just, like, chunky over here, put some stuff around. And then I just, like, I walk around. Oh. I'm just kidding, it's vague. I haven't added anything about biomes or any kind of structure generation. I don't know if the video is going to show this. There are seam lines between the blocks, and that's because there is a mesh that is being used to build each chunk. I'm just unloading and loading each mesh. The seam lines are from all of the vertices of these meshes not being reused. So here's a face right here. Here's another face. It'd be more efficient to make this one face. But when I try to do that... Oh my god, what is this? It's like its own realm. I'm not 100% sure how to describe this. Somehow I managed to make a new dimension. How do you describe this? How does this happen? How does this work? If I place a block... What? I can't even place a block because it's so broken. I don't even... It's just, no. Uh, there you go. Well, that's part of a texture. Oh. But yeah, that's my progress so far. My coding language that I was primarily using was Lua because that's what Roblox uses. Switching over to C Sharp was so weird, but I already was taking a class on Java, so this makes a lot more sense than if I just went eh, nose first in a C Sharp. Feel free to yell at me for how I'm naming these variables, by the way. So today I'm going to try to add trees. I don't know, I'm going to add trees first. I, I want biomes, but trees are necessary. I think the approach I'm going to take is chunk seeds, which are kind of... They're like a seed that will determine what can spawn in that chunk. Biomes of seeds, maybe you do biomes in another video. I want to do chunk seeds. Basically the idea is you take the seed that the world uses... And you use that to determine whether or not something's supposed to be there, like a tree. And you can modify the position of the tree all you want, based on where it is in that chunk, but it should be fine. So we have access to the chunk seed. 
Now, right now I don't have a way to determine what biome it's in, so we're just gonna assume everything is the biome where trees happen. So, um, trees? We need a way for the chunk position to influence whether or not the seed should generate a tree here. What the f- Okay, so these chunks are saying they can have trees. Oh, yeah, that's right. I only took the X position in consideration. Okay, that's much better. Wait, what? Is it? Okay. Okay. That's not very organic. Yeah. That's not what I wanted. All right. Quite a lot of boxes. Maybe I need to decrease this threshold. It's very difficult to see exactly what's going on, but yeah, maybe it's time to start spawning trees. Now, I don't have a texture for wood and leaves prepared, but I'll make one real quick. Also, I'm going to lower this threshold. That's way too many trees. So I kind of have everything stored in this one texture, so it'll be super easy to read from the UV map. So basically, I'm going to make a little thingy, a uh, wood texture, right? Here's our base color I'm going to stick with. I've always liked it when people use like a pinky magenta color. Now I'm going to do a lot of hue shifting with this. Okay, how's that? That's just, you know, a simple texture. I don't really, I'm not too worried about it. Are you going to be able to tell it's wood? Maybe, maybe not, probably not. I'm not going super crazy with these textures. It's just, you know, this game is teaching me how to use Unity. I don't really care. Okay, let's see. I have, oh, wait, what? Oh. What? <laughs> so that tells me the whole world falling apart thing was UV map problem, not triangles. There you go. You got your nice little wood block. I'm not. I... Okay. In all my time of testing around with this, I've never fallen through the floor. What just? Ha hey, check it out. Oh yeah, the seat is different every time. I forgot to. Notice that. Alright, enough messing around. Time to get the trees spawning. Alright, let's see what happens when I try to generate a tree. Should be putting something in logs so that I'm not seeing anything. Hopefully I can get something working. So far it's been very nothing. We're finally getting some results. I like to see it. That one's only three tall for some reason. That one's five tall. Oh. Okay, uh. I don't know what's going on. They don't. They don't look like that. I'm gonna just have to mess with it until something works, I guess. Why? Multiplied by chunk size. Oh, what? Why one? Why is it one? Uh. Alright. How is this breaking? Oh, my God. Uh. Why? Get it. I don't know. I understand. Why do you say it's what the heck? There are no ones and zero. Tell me all of them are in the same exact. How? How are all of them too? Makes no sense. How are they all? Oh my god, I'm going insane. After a lot of tinkering, I've decided to split up the noise map for the tree spawning. So that the offset for the trees, the X and the Z, can be randomized individually. However, that's not working at all. Time to generate leaves. I have absolutely no idea what this is going to look like. So... Just gonna have to test it out, see what happens, if it looks the way I want it to. Oh boy. Oh my god, it looks the way I wanted it to look. Wow, that's a first. So, things I expected to happen are trees being cut off, and it's gonna lag when it generates a tree. But I can improve that in the future. However... When you go back to old trees, it shouldn't lag that bad. Or, you know, chunk generation's just gonna be like that. 
I should probably break a tree a little bit. I need to improve that. So I should be able to break it. Go back. And it's still broken. I can repair it. Yes. So these trees look wacky, don't they? They look unique though, so that's what's important. Looks kind of stupid. Anyway, the trees look like the way I want them to look. Oh my god, it lags so bad. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot I have to fix. Anyway. We got trees! We did it! Trees! Uh... We'll worry about making them better in the future, but... I'm so sick and tired burnt out of this right now. Maybe I could fix the chunk thing, though. It just looked really nice. I like the way these things work. Maybe I can get on top. So, this. <coughs> land on the tree, land on it, yeah! Alright, so now we got, <laughs> now we got trees. They get cut off. I'll fix that sometime. And, you know, they, oh, no, I don't like that. They, they got wood. Jeez, what the heck? Okay, they got wood. Wow. They got wood. I did what I said I was gonna do. So, I guess that's all. Uh, it was a lot of pain to get that going. I could try randomizing the position of these trees a little bit more. Maybe randomize the height and shape of the leaves. But, like I said, this is just the start. We could do some cool things with it. I like how the trees affect the lighting, too. It's very nice. Anyway, I'm going to jump off the side of the world now. Uh... Alright, goodbye.